beautiful people this week has been like extremely hectic for me because i just been in so much pain this week and um i was just thinking about how much i really love and appreciate matt and things are gonna get crazier because I'm going to be recovering and I'm not going to really be able to do anything after I have my surgery for a while. So everything is pretty much going to be on him until I get better. But it just got me to thinking about like how grateful and how blessed and how appreciative I really am to have the man that I have and the family that I have because y'all dealing with sickle cell on a day-to-day -day basis or any chronic illness it it does require some help especially if you have kids and I just want to share with you guys how much I love and appreciate Matt. Like, I know I can call and text them, and I have, but I want to share with you guys how appreciative I am with him, of him, and just share something with you guys. So, we recently found out that my sickle cell is a trigger for landing. Um, that hurt me to my core, y'all. Like, that was, like, a gut punch to know that, like, my sickness, like, my disease is a trigger for my kid. I have been noticing the days that I would be sick, I would have rough nights at the house, and I would be crying from pain or stuff like that. And I usually don't cry in front of them. I'll be, you know, either in a shower or in my room or whatever, but they can tell when I'm having a really bad time because they can sense, like, you know, I'll, I'm not as talkative, like, I'll get quiet and I'll just kind of be in my head because I'm trying to calm myself down because with how much pain I'm in, I have to put mine over matter. And I can't let my body, let my mind know how much pain I'm in because I'll go into a full-on panic attack and I'll lose control and it'll just be very bad. So I have to have control over it. So... Landon sees, um, we got him therapy. We're getting him therapy for it or whatever because we want him to be able to channel his emotions and things like that. Like, we don't want him to be, you know, an angry kid that turns into an angry teen that turns into an angry man. And no, I don't want anything to happen to my kid. So, no, we want him to be able to channel his emotions. So, um... I talk to her because I have been noticing when I'm when I would have a bad night or when I'm in the hospital, he would have bad days at school. So we talked about it in therapy and it took time, but we got him to like open up about it and as we're talking about it, he was like, you know, playing, but he's playing, but he's becoming more and more aggressive as he's playing, like with the toys and stuff like that. And I'm just like watching him and just like listening to the stuff that he says and things like that. And y'all, it hurt me so bad like 
Trying to cry. It hurt me to my core, y'all, because for my six-year-old, he was six then. He just turned seven on the 22nd. But to hear him say,